All right. So hopefully by now you guys have all gone through uh, the first couple of weeks. You've familiarized with yourself with the syllabus. Uh, you've taken some time to uh, maybe start reading a little bit. And if you haven't, uh, maybe you should do that. But um, you know, it's it's fine. Uh, you know, again, this is not story time. This is more just like you know ways to sort of expand on what you've read, uh, provide different perspectives, different ways to think about something rather than just like read the text. So, um, as we've talked about uh, in this, uh, like before though, you know, so we're in this class, we're in the intro introduction to criminal justice. And, you know, all of you decided to come here for a number of reasons. You know, it's not every, in the past I have heard that people, you know, want to become a police officer, they want to become a correctional officer, work in probation. Uh, perhaps they're here part of a social work program, or maybe they're just fascinated with the way uh, the criminal mind works, right? And so all those are all valid, those are good reasons, but you know, I would kind of wonder, uh, you know, for you, like why exactly are you here? And like, what exactly do we learn in this class? What value is it? Uh, well, for starters, the first thing is <laughs> with any intro class, right? Because we go, you know, an inch deep and a mile wide, um, you know, it's more about like, are you actually interested in this topic? Is this something that you want to do? And so because of that, um, you know, this class really dis discusses a lot of different aspects of the criminal justice system to sort of promote and provoke uh, your own curiosity. You know, so some of you may gravitate towards explanations as to why people commit crime or, or do not commit crime. Maybe you're more interested in the police, how police systems work, uh, what problems face police, how can we fix them. Um, or in corrections, where we identify people, how we, what happens when we send someone to prison, is prison good or bad, what should our sentencing philosophy be, and so on. And so what the sort of class is, like, none of these things really, like, existed in a field study until, like, the 60s, right? We didn't really ask these sort of big questions into uh, the criminal justice system until... We had the Law Enforcement uh, Administrative Assistance uh, Fund, which really funded a lot of the study of uh, crime in the, in the criminal justice system and largely our society, right, where we really begin to figure out understanding what is and what's not happening. And so when we think about the system, right, we're not talking about just like the offenders, we're not talking about, you know, corrections, we're not just talking about the courts. But we're also involved in understanding patterns in crime, why they exist, um, and you know, for what reason do they exist? Can we do anything to correct it? We're also interested in deciding how things become crime, why are they crimes, who, who gets saying what, uh, what tactics do or do not work in reducing crime, and what's ultimately uh, going to be better. And so a lot of the reason why like my job exists and why there's such a larger interest for criminal justice system is because of the LEAA deciding to invest and create all these programs and to uh, marshal a larger evidence on it. So when we think about the criminal justice system, then, you know, we are talking about, you know, the courts, the corrections, um, the police and everything in between, right? And so we'll spend this next section of videos uh, talking about um, that kind of issue. So until then, uh, see you guys later.